What's up guys? This is uh, ties in uh, with prisonerfreedom.com. It's a blog about um, the tools, the technologies, and the strategies to help people find uh, freedom in health, wealth, and uh, relationships. And uh, in this particular episode, um, I have my good friend Leon Fu right here. And uh, we're going to discuss the difference between uh, proof of stake versus uh, uh, proof of work that's used in Bitcoin versus the uh, proof of stake that's used in Nextcoin. And, and, and PeerCoin, actually. And PeerCoin? Yes. Is there any other currencies that use the proof uh, of stake? As far as I know right now, those are the two um, coins that use those. Um, okay. And, and if you can't speak up? Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it, it, those are the two coins used um, that use proof of stake, although PeerCoin um, uses a combination of proof of work and proof of stake. Okay. Could you talk a little bit about what is, what is the uh, big difference between uh, proof of work in uh, proof of stake, okay. I, I understand the uh, the uh, proof of work um, in bitcoins a little bit, but like just in non technical terms, could you explain the difference between the two? Well, the, the idea is to prove that um, you know it, it's very difficult to prove or, or to fake proof of work, right? Because it's yeah. a hashing algorithm, yeah. right? And and so you need comp you you had to expend resources. Yeah, of compu computational oh, power, power in order plus to, um, plus uh, uh, time, plus time, right? The, yeah, yeah, time. Uh, proof of stake is a little bit different here. It it, it it's it just just like it's it's very hard to for to fake proof of work. It's also hard to fake ownership. Okay, okay. so let's let's just You're, say that it's, it's hard to fake. Like if you own something, it's hard to actually say. You did not own it. You did, or, or to say you own it when you really don't own it. Right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, how about let's say if we use a few examples so that the audience can understand. Mm -hmm. Let's just say that you have. For we're just using an arbitrary number here. Um, let's say that you have a million next coins, and I only have ten thousand next coins. Yes. Okay. So what? What? What does that make a difference in the forging process? Okay, so the way the next way, coin does not mine; it forges. Yeah, yeah. So, so the way it it actually um, next coin actually is anybody who's running the client, and, and pure yeah. coin works the same way, right? Anybody yeah. who's running the client <clears throat> um, means you are you are actually eligible to create blocks. Okay? Yeah, and it, it's it's just like um, hashing is kind of like a lottery ticket, right? Yeah. Um, Proof of stake is also uses a lottery ticket, but it uses, um, from from my readings, it uses the amount of coins that you own. Oh, so it's based on when they say proof of stake, that means that your stake it's, in the it's coin. how many coins you own. Yeah, how many coins you own compared to, and, and the fact that your client is connected to the network, right? If yeah. You, if you yeah. if you shut off your computer and you're not running the client, then you can't forge or mine or create you, you can't create a block because you're not online right? okay so when you say um, create a block uh, by, by the way just so that our yes. audience knows when you say the client that's your account your next coin account or your next uh, yeah, coin your, wallet. The, the actual wallet okay okay the wallet is the one that is kind of doing this mining forging or you know, you know okay. generating the next block you're processing transactions okay right? and and that process is called uh, that process uh, that that uh, when you're processing the transactions for the Nextcoin network, mm -hmm. they refer to that as forging instead yes, of mining. Yes, they refer to that as that. The, the Nextcoin community refers okay. to that. Yes. The reason is because uh, to make sure I understand it correctly is because there is no coins being minted, so yes. it's not. You can't call it mining because there's nothing being minted. Yes, there's nothing it's, being It's uh, just being forged because you are processing the transaction. Yes, you're, you you just because you're online at the time. Yeah, and you you own a stake. Yeah, and there's proof that you own a stake because it's on the, you, it's yeah, on the blockchain, right? Yeah, because you actually it, own you, you yeah. actually own the coins, right? And you know your your percentage is also based on um, how long you've owned it. Right. Yeah. So it it's the, I mean I, I, from my readings the the formula is the number of coins that you own. Yeah. Multiplied by how many days or, or how, how how long you've have, you've owned those coins. Okay. So let's so, say that you just bought you just acquired your million next coins today. Yes. And I've had my ten thousand next coins um, since the beginning since two the, three months ago. Yeah. Since one not even a month ago. Right. Okay. Yeah. So month ago. Yeah. That means that my Next coins have more value 
more stake. More stake because you've had it for a longer period of time. Right? Okay. So it's the number of coins you own multiplied by how long you've owned them, and that's your probability. Okay. So okay. So in um, make sure I get it straight. Yeah. In Bitcoin mining, the proof of work depends upon how many giga hashes or tera hashes of yes. computing power yes. of hashing power I have. So the more hashing power I have the more likely yeah basically the more lotto tickets i have yes. uh -huh. to have a chance at winning yes in this particular case we're not talking about uh hashing power we're talking about how much of the coins you actually own in addition to how long you have owned it yes so if you own your 1 million next coins is it correct to say that you basically have more lotto tickets than someone that only has 10,000 coins that's right you do you okay. Do, yeah, because you have a bigger stake. So each time we process a block of information, um, there is a likelihood that you will get that correct. Yes. That before you, I do. Yes. It, so yes. simply because you just have more chances. Yes, you have more chances. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So so yeah, you know, uh, there is such a thing as like a fifty-one percent attack in the sense that if you were to own say 51% of the coins out there. Yeah. Right? But, you know, the argument for proof of stake is that's very expensive to do, right? Because as you yeah. uh, if you were to try to do that, yeah. you you yourself would drive the price of the coin up massively, right? Okay, if, so if, 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 in, if, in what in the, in next coin or or both the next coin and pure coin, right? It, it's, it's, it's this method called proof of stake, right? Yeah. Is that um you know, you with Bitcoin, it's the fifty-one percent attack is if you ha control more, if you control that much hashing power. Yeah, right? fifty-one percent of, of the, the hashing power of the Bitcoin network hashing power. Yeah, yeah. But um, for s proof of stake, is you actually have to own the coins. Yeah. Right? And uh, you, you know, if, you would have to own say 51% of the coins out there right yeah that to have a, a to have no I thought they said it was 90% uh, well it, it, it's, what does that it's, mean? it's well next see I, that part I have to go do some more research on is they're, they're gonna have a new feature called um, transparent mining yeah where we know which node is going to process the next block yeah right yeah and that that supposedly is going to improve performance because you, you know you can everybody can broadcast their transactions to that node right? yeah so um, that in that way that it's it's very hard for you to um, take control of the network right yeah because we know like which is the next node that's going to create the next block right yeah because it, there's, it, it, and how they're actually going to do that I haven't quite seen the algorithm yet because it hasn't been released yeah it, it's not yeah. a feature yet but okay. this is like remember in the last video we, we talked about features yeah and this is one of the features that next coin is, is is working on is working on yeah now so what, what else does the audience need to know uh, about the difference between proof of work and proof of stake? Well, one is based on hashing, like yeah. computational power. Yeah. Right? The other is based on ownership. Okay. Okay. And as far as I know, uh, um, uh, PureCoin. Let's use PureCoin as an example. Yeah. Right. Um, and just, are, just just as a disclaimer, yeah. do you own Peer Coins? I do. I also own Peer okay, Coins. So but I just, own a bunch of these, you know. I'm, yeah. I'm so I, I also them. own Peer Coins yeah. also. So just so you guys are aware of that. <coughs> and neither one of yeah. us are on the Peer Coin development team. Matter of fact, just keep in mind that when we talk about any coin on this uh, on on our blog, uh, the prisonerfreedom.com, you can almost automatically assume that we own those coins and that we have nothing to do with the founders of the coin or the development team or any of that. Okay, we're just pure speculators and investors and that's it yes okay yes. so uh, pure coin um, uses a combination of proof of work and proof of stake right so and it's actually using both right? yeah because um, it was it they didn't choose to do what next coin did which was just 100% well, proof of stake 100% proof of stake right because in other words that uh, next coin you had to buy into it you you had yeah. to be one of the you know one of those founders yeah. to, to buy into it Pure coin is like Bitcoin is that it also you it also does mining right yeah but and, and the reason for that is it, it does that to issue the coins initially yeah. right? it has to be minted somehow. it has to be minted somehow right yeah so they they chose to say, all right we're we're still gonna do proof of work just yeah. like Bitcoin yeah because at the beginning most of the coins are gonna be coming from minting 
right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like proof of work, right? Yeah. But um, there's also going to be, um, they also have a proof of stake. And yeah. The, and the idea is as more and more coins are issued, then proof of stake will eventually take over from okay. proof of work. Okay. Right? okay. So that, that's, how, okay. that's how it is. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Um, the, and that will conclude this video. And I hope that you guys got some more uh, um, exciting info about the difference and have a better understanding about the difference between a proof of work versus proof of stake you know in in uh, in coins such as bitcoin versus uh next coin and uh you guys enjoy this and you guys like to uh um, learn more about it please leave a comment for myself and um and leon uh Fu here and let us know what it is that you want us to talk about and um let us know and if you guys enjoy this uh, we're always happy to uh, accept any coffee or beer uh, donations and leave it at the Bitcoin address below. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. And if you like this, uh, please share it with your friends and other people that are uh, into investing and speculating in the altcoin uh, market. Okay, And we'll catch you guys in the next video.